Hi, and welcome back to day 12 of the 25 days of surplus. So you've just purchased your first military surplus rifle or pistol, and now you've got to decide what you're going to shoot out of it. Right now I'm going to lay out a couple modern options and a couple other solutions that you may want to consider. The two most popular companies for military surplus ammunition in, when it comes to modern production are S&B and PPU. Now both of these companies make quality ammunition. PPU, with the exception of the 6.5 Carcano that issue that I already mentioned that should be fixed going forward. These two, if you can find this ammunition, it's a decent price and it's always a good option. A couple on the smaller side, Fioki does make some vintage pistol rounds like this 38 Smith & Wesson that I use for my Enfield revolver. And Steinel makes a, a large amount of different vintage calibers. Um, it's a little pricier, but I definitely think it's worth it. And they also make some really nice uh, components if you decide to make some on your own. Getting into the surplus side, you can always go ahead and if you've bought something in 7.6254R, find yourself a nice big old spam can of ammunition. As long as it's in decent shape and it's not rusty, just make sure to clean your bore afterwards because it's probably going to be corrosive. There's even some nicer options out there like this Yugoslavian M30. This stuff is borderline match grade, so that's a really nice option. That being said, you also have to be careful. This is World War II era, eight millimeter Mauser. While it looks good on the inside, you really have to be careful with this stuff, double check it. And if you have any other options before shooting this, shoot this stuff last. There's definitely some military surplus ammunition to avoid um, Turkish stuff, sort of just in general. Um, you can search the internet. There's definitely a lot more resources out there as to what and what not to shoot. Finally, if you're going to be spending more than five minutes in this hobby or buying more than one thing or shooting a lot, I really recommend starting to reload and learning how to do that. 7.7 um, .7 Japanese is a caliber that either isn't available or is really expensive to buy unless you reload, which I was able to make these rounds for right around $1.10 a piece. So much cheaper than what you're going to be able to get out there on the commercial market. So. Like I said, that's a, it's a big suggestion I have if you're really going to get into this hobby at all. So, hope you've enjoyed this, and I look forward to seeing you for the rest of the 25 days of surplus. So long.